Hey, gits and gals, this is Warboss Nick of the Broken Legion Gamers, coming to you once again from the mech shop. And in this video, I'm going to start with the first Warband showcases. I'm going to start with the one that a lot of people are excited for, the Night Stalker Warband. In the next video, I'll go over the other new Warband, which everybody's excited for, which is the Northern Alliance. But in this video... It's going to be all about the Night Stalkers. So, let's pop this open and see what we get. Okay. First thing coming out, you get three of the Cavalry MDF bases and what looks like three 40 millimeter bases. You've got a total of 10, 11, 12, 13, total of 18, 20, mil, 20 millimeter square plastic bases. Now, we're going to get the boring stuff out of the way. What we're going to do, you've got the power dice, and I just want to verify. Yes, these are the Kickstarter exclusive marble marbleized power dice. So I'm going to have a lovely set of marbleized power dice all for this lovely game. And now let's pop these open without damaging the cards. Now, it's probably not the safest way of doing that for either my finger or the cards, but luckily both made it out alive and survived. But -da boom Right up right up front, you have the Night Stalker Faction Warband card with their special ability, Dread. Um, Dread costs one power. Nominate any one of your Night Stalker models on the table that is not fatigued. Pick one model within three inches of the nominated Night Stalker. This model must immediately take a nerve test with a negative one modifier. If the test is failed, the model is marked as activated. Any rules that apply to nerve tests, e.g. inspiring, can, can still be used normally. This ability may be used once each Night Stalker's turn and is not limited to one use per round. Ooh. Could get expensive if you overuse that one. Here's the faction spell cards. You have a short one, which is Horrify. And then you have a long one, Fear the Darkness. I'll let you guys be surprised about that. Now on to the cards. Spectre. It's a warrior model. The Spectres are... The models that you make on the war, on the scarecrow sprue as well. It's a warrior mo warrior model on a 20, 20 millimeter base, fourteen points. It's got a speed of six, melee seven plus, range six plus, armor six plus, nerve three plus, two wounds and height two. It range it's got two d eight, melee is one d eight, and of course its alignment is evil. And it has Yield Fireball. Okay, so this... And for some reason, I got three of these. Because there's three models. Oh! Okay, I see how it goes. One card for every model. Okay. Well, that, if that's the case, it would be nice on the token set. So to also have numbered tokens, kind of like Fantasy Flight X-Wing, so we could... Do things on the cards, put tokens on the cards, but uh, maybe we can, maybe people can figure out how to, to do that one. Now the next one is the Reaper. It's a 16 point warrior model. It's speed five, melee five plus, no ranged attack stat, armor five plus, nerf three plus, two wounds, two height. height. It's got stealthy and crushing strength one. And it's melee 3d8. 
this guy is this guy is going to be a bruiser in combat with that crushing strength and the 3d8. Now on to the scarecrow, which is going to be your basic run of the mill grunt, speed five, speed five melee d6, armor six plus, nerve four, nerve four plus, one wound, height two. It's got stealthy and mob assault, and it's got one d8 in melee. Now on to the needle fangs. The needle fangs are grunts on a 40 millimeter base. Oh, I think think the needle fangs are kind of like imps and orklings. These may be interesting. They have a they have a speed of six, a melee of five plus, an armor of six plus. A nerve of four plus, two wounds and one height. They are stealth. They have the special rules: stealthy, swarm, and bloodlust. And their melee is two d eight. And you get three of those cards. Now on to the butcher, which is another, which is another forty millimeter. This is one of the large models. It's. Cost 33 points, speed 6, melee 5 plus, armor 4 plus, nerve 3 plus, 4 wounds, height 3. It's got stealthy, crushing strength 2 and pound, and it rolls 4d8 in combat. You get only one of those cards. I think that's one of the... only one of those cards. But we get three of the models. I don't know. And... Now we're on to the Phantom. The Phantom is a 14 point warrior on a 20 millimeter base with a speed with a speed of five, melee of five, armor five plus, nerve four plus, two wounds, height two, stealthy, it's got stealthy, fly and vicious, and it does two D eight in combat. And we get three of those cards. Now, on to the horror. Horror is a 12-point warrior. That's kind of cheap for a warrior. On a 20 millimeter base, speed of 5, melee of 6 plus, 4 plus armor, 4 plus nerve, 2 wounds, 2 height. He's stealthy, and he gets 2d8 in combat. We get 1, 2, 3 of those cards. Now, on to the Shadow Hound. They're on a cavalry base, which is these rectangular MDF bases. They're support, so to take to take one of these, you have to have three grunts or war, and or warriors. They got a speed of seven, melee of five plus, armor of five plus, a four plus nerve, three wounds, a height of two. Stealthy, regenerate 6+, plus. that's going to be nice. Bloodlust, and melee 2d8. We get three of those cards. And then I think we're on to the first of the resin models, which is the Mind Screech. He's sitting on a 50 millimeter base. Coming in at 31 points, he is a large spellcaster, which means he takes up two slots. He's got a speed of four, kind of a little slow, a range of four plus, an armor of five plus, a nerve test of four plus, a nerve value of four plus, four wounds, and a height three. He's got stealthy and fly. He doesn't have ranged or melee dice, but his spells are lightning bolt, which is long, and hammer, which is long. Now his special ability, draw dark power, that costs one... Use this ability when taking a cast action. Draw Dark Power allows their model to cast long action spells as a short action. That's awesome, considering both of his spells are long actions. And then his other ability is All Seeing. The Mind Streak, the Mind Screech can draw a line of sight and cast spells all around into both its front and rear arcs. That's kind of cool, and that you don't have to pay power for. 
Now onto the shade. The shade is on a 20 millimeter base. It's a 40 point command model. It gives you a, an extra red power dice and an extra, and one white power dice. It's got speed of seven, melee of four plus, armor four plus, nerve of three plus, four wounds, and height two. It's got stealthy and fly, and melee is 3d8. Uh, he's got the ability cause fear, and it costs two point uh, two power. Use when the <clears throat> use when the model activates. All enemy models within six inches of the shade must immediately take a nerve test. Any model that fails are marked as fatigued. Okay, that could be interesting. Now on to the banshee, which is. On a 20 millimeter base, it's a 39 point command model. She gives you one, one blue power dice. She's got speed of six, a melee of four plus, armor of three plus, nerve of three plus, three wounds, and height two. She's got stealthy and fly, and she's got a 3d8 for her melee. And she's got a special ability called whale, which costs two power. Use when the model activates all sta standing enemy models six inches of the Banshee <clears throat> must immediately take a nerve test. Any model that fails must immediately make a walk action directly away from the Banshee using their full speed value. Moving as far as possible following the normal movement rules. Models that are moved are not activated or fatigued unless already marked as such before any effect any effect from whale is applied and here's the here's the last oh no there's two more you've got the reaper soul drinker on a 20 millimeter base 25 point command model this will be good for smaller games i'm guessing uh speed of 5 melee of 5 plus armor 4 plus Nerve three plus, two wounds, height two. It's got stealthy and crushing strength one, and melee two d eight. Um, it's got an ability called Soul Thirst. It's a short ability, uses an action. Friendly Night Stalker models, but not the model itself. While within six inches of this model, gain one bonus die for any melee attack. They make until the end of the current round. Could be very useful. And then we're on to our last command command model, which is the Butcher Flesh Ripper. Um, it's a 41 point model. It's a large command model. It's got a speed of six, melee four plus, armor four plus, nerf three plus, four wounds, height three, stealthy, crushing strength two, and 3d8 in combat but this guy this guy gives you an extra white power dice now on to the models we're going to start with the we get two of these hard plastic sprues i'm only going to open one Now, remember, this this sprue can make both a specter and a scarecrow. I guess it all depends on the head and arm options you choose, which it's got quite, quite the uh, selection of heads. Here are the, there's the legs, one of the scarecrow heads, another scarecrow head, uh, it's definitely a, a huge selection of heads. Here's all your selection of arms. And there's your torsos. And I'm guessing the weapons for the scarecrows. These, one, two, three, four, five. These are going to be fun to build. And I'm pretty much going to build one sprue with sprue of scarecrows and one sprue of specters 
So let me get this back in the neoprene bag, in the plastic bag, and then we will go into three of these bags. I'm guessing that this is going to have one of each of the models that come with the Kickstarter rewards. So there should be five models in this bag, and then they're go it's going to be repeated three times. Well, and this will be a direct, these two will be a direct repeat of that bag, so we're only going to open up one of these. Okay, here's this. That goes like that, and then uh, one of these heads goes on that, I'm pretty sure. And then this is probably both the arms for... Now here's... Here's one of the... One of the arms, I'm assuming this is, no, this is that arm right there. It doesn't dry fit nicely, and this is the other arm right here. And I forget what this model's called, but you get the drift of this model. And I think... Okay, now this is actually I think this pops into the pops into there, but I'm not sure. But we're gonna move on to the next model. Here's the butcher. Goes together. There's a piece of plastic right there, but this goes on right there. And then Here's the other. <clears throat> Here's the other hand for the butcher. I don't know how this one goes together. Or you can also use this this set of arms for the butcher, so you can make your butchers differently. And then, uh, kind of kind of looks a little bit like a xenomorph from the Aliens movies with that right there. And then, right there, yeah. Oh, and that just sits on the knee. Yeah, so there's your butcher model. Here's the hound hound model. It gets two of these heads right here. These two heads right here. I'm assuming. And then these legs. Well, here's here's the two spurs. This one's got three heads on it. And two arms. This sprue has two arms, a third arm, what looks like two legs. Yeah, you're gonna, when you get this, you're gonna have to pl play with these a little bit, see what goes on to what. But th this is definitely one of those, this is definitely one of those hound type things. And we've got this guy right here which gets this head and then he is done being built and then here's my favorite model from the kickstarter this thing right here i was worried because of the weird legs that it was gonna be hard to get this guy to balance on a base but with a little bit of convincing and some hot water that sky will fit right onto a fit right onto a base. Well, that's all the mo 
models for this. Oh, wait. No, we can't go forward yet. We still have resins to do. Okay, now here's the three resin models. Really hoping they got MDF, their own separate MDF bases in here. And yes, they have the bases in here. You get two 20 millimeter bases and a flying base. And this right here. Then you get, here's the uh, bubble wrap. And they've got each of them in their own Ziploc bags. Here's the first one. Just goes together like like this. Oh, that's a freaky looking model. Here's the first half, a whole bunch of head. Here's the back of that piece. Here's what glues onto the base and where that goes. And then, oh, gonna break me my resins. And then this right here. That's one of the resin models. And then we'll move on to resin model number two, which is going to be just the brain thing. I forget what it's called. Hold on, I'll grab its card because it's one of my favorite of the Night Stalker models, but its name really escapes me at this present time. The Mind Screech, I believe. Yeah, the Mind Screech. It's one big honking piece of resin. This is a single piece miniature, by the way. All you gotta do with this guy is, like, clean him up. Like, get rid of the flash and everything. Clean up couple of the mold yeah just clean up the flash and it's done this guy looks great and now on to the third resin model and then we are done with this video now you see why I chose to do these videos these showcases separately from the unboxing I think this is the Banshee if I remember Remember correctly? Yeah, the weird looking female thing. This is gonna be, that's gonna be interesting to paint too. And here's the ban, right there's the Banshee's head thing and her two arms. Okay, well, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you, hopefully you enjoy what you, what you saw. Because this is this is was the showcase for the night night stalkers faction. Follow me on Instagram, brokenly under the Broken Legion Gamers. Follow me on Twitter, Broken Legion Gamers, or or at Legion Broken. Jump onto Facebook, join the Facebook group, the Broken Legion of Gamers tabletop gaming community. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. And then hit that bell icon to the right so you can be notified anytime I put up any future content. And as always, whenever possible, support local wargaming. Here at the channel, we support Toy Wiz in Nanuet, New York, right on Route 59, right across the street from the Dunkin' Donuts. See you guys a little later.